Hi, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Meggs, and this is Everyday Vet, where we bridge the communication gap between medical professionals and pet owners. Today, I'm gonna to talk about coronavirus, specifically COVID-19, and do you need to be worried about it passing between you and your pet? Well, short answer is no. At least, it's not something that I personally worry about, but I'm gonna go into the information, that way you can decide for yourself if it's something that you wanna keep on your radar. So COVID-19 is spread from human to human transmission, and there have been over 80,000 cases reported worldwide now. 80% of those are mild illness. There have been no reported cases in cats. There has been one dog that did test positive for COVID-19, but it has not shown any clinical symptoms associated with being sick from the virus. If you're interested in more on that, I do have a link in the video description below. But now let's put that into perspective. So one dog out of all the dogs tested, tested positive, but did not get sick. More than 70,000 people each year get sick from salmonella from reptiles, and that's not even including the cases from dogs and cats. Roundworms cause more than 60,000 deaths annually. Furthermore, there are several million cases in the United States alone of people getting ringworm, especially from cats. Now, personally, I don't really worry that much about getting salmonella, roundworms, or ringworms from my pets. Um, so as far as like me worrying about the coronavirus, that's below my threshold. But everyone has their own threshold, so that's why I wanted to give you the statistics, that way you can decide for yourself. That being said, I do have some general recommendations that I would follow, that way you can avoid passing illnesses back and forth between you and your pet, or to other people or other pets. So, one, I would recommend not letting your pet lick your face or doing nose-to-nose -nose contact. Two, make sure you're regularly disposing of poop. So that includes litter boxes, or if you have a dog that's going outside, make sure you're picking that up regularly and make sure you're washing your hands afterwards. Three, make sure that you're washing out the pet food bowls in addition to the water bowls. And make sure that you do that regularly and wash your hands afterwards as well. Number four, um, if your pet develops any kind of changes on its skin, um, any redness, scaling, patchiness, make sure that you let your vet know right away and don't touch those areas of skin. Number five, make sure that you're cleaning all pet bedding regularly. And number six, make sure that you're practicing good self hygiene. So anytime you're interacting with your pet, um, or really touching much of anything, make sure that you're washing your hands well afterwards. And at all times, avoid touching your face because that's a really good way to get sick. Um, and the most important seven is gonna be the concept of self quarantine. So we're all pretty familiar with the idea that if you're getting sick, it's best if you don't go into work because you don't wanna expose other people to what you have. The same is true for pets. So if your pet is showing any signs of illness at all, make sure that you're not taking it into pet stores, dog parks, um, day boarding facilities, or even like regular boarding facilities too. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not exposing your dogs to other dogs because you don't want them to get sick. Um, so same concept with us as them. If you're not feeling well, stay at home. That basically sums up my recommendations as far as coronavirus goes. Um, COVID-19 is not really an issue we're seeing in animals. Um, if you do want more information on the human side of things, because I'm not a human doctor, I do have several helpful links in the video description below. Um, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And thank you for taking the time to spend with us today. Um, if you did like this video, please make sure that you hit the, the like icon below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you hit that bell icon, you'll be able to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thank you for joining me. I'm Dr. Manx, and this is Everyday Vet.